Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For newcomers, my name is Didi. I say bam, and I say don't worry, be happy. Recovering from some kind of a flu, and almost 100%, still not, because I need to cough a lot. So get used to me coughing through the whole TA video. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep it short. It's Sunday. We have some cool charts, so let's jump into those charts now. One, two, three. First chart, bam. This is, of course, like you are used, the four hour chart. I mostly start the four hour chart because I trade the four hour chart. <clears throat> Lately, not many good trades have been done over there. Um, the lamb, the bam said, the lamb, I felt lamb, <laughs> lame. No, the bam, bam indicators gave a long flag. We did close above the yellow stepping line. We saw the green line on top. We saw the green hill starting. Um, we saw the bam bam crossing over there. So yeah, there was a long call, but it was not a huge profit. It was a profit of almost like 2%. But with a leverage of 10, it's still a 20%. Now it's calling for a short. I'm, am I going to take that short? No, because there is too much green. Too much green for me is not a short. Okay, first shot. Let's go to the next one. Bam. Bitcoin found support on the 200 day moving average over there. That red line, that is what I said in my last video before uh, that flu uh, struck me. Uh, we kept support and I think we will keep support. <coughs> oh, what a good video. If we look at the Gaussian channel, we can see we are still fighting that channel like I said before. We need to break the top of the channel. A candle needs to close above it. And like I said last time, yes, when we look at the normal candles, they closed already above it. But if I look at the hiking ashing candles, they look a little bit more averaged out. Then, no, we didn't close above that uh, top of the Gaussian channel yet. And we need to get out of this channel to fully explode into this new run all the way up to 70, 80k. So uh, we are working on it and we're fighting it, but we didn't, um, we didn't do it yet. We just still need to break out of this channel. And I think that is very important. Do we have any more charts for today <coughs> without coughing this time, Biddy? Yes, this is the weekly chart. This one is one that I'm um, looking at very closely the next couple of days, uh, especially the next couple of hours as well, because in 17 hours, this is going to close, this candle. And we have the NVT on the, on the bottom, and that one needs to stay red, guys. Every time when it switch, switches from white, to red or red to white we have a massive dump or pump so from white to red we saw here at 64k we dumped to 30k so if we turn from red to white at the moment is not very positive if this one would be becoming a white line because of the next closing of the weekly candle that could mean that we see another dump again to the red line maybe 39 or maybe even lower to the box again to 30k so this is very important if you look to the left on the chart you can understand that every time when we have when this happens from red here to white we see a dump if you are white yes the price can still be going up if you're red yes the price can still be go up but if we change from red to white that's the dangerous part so let's hope that we stay red for another week or 10 or 20 or maybe a million i don't know yes he is agreeing with me as well let's jump into another thing bam that i found over here this one um bitcoin had a new all-time high of 8.3 billion us dollar in transaction volume which is huge so um yes also the transactions are growing every day new all-time high here I have one more chart, guys. I'm going to keep it really short because I'm still not completely, completely there. I can't speak too much. 
but that is what you already found out because of all the, <laughs> the coughing. He's almost dead and he's doing a video now. <laughs> Damn over here. And it's this chart, guys. Um, the orange line is gold. The blue line is the stocks. And the beautiful other line, the one that's going up that crazy, that's Bitcoin. So you can see the difference of being an investor in Bitcoin and have been making profits in 2011 only about 200% a month, 200% a year, or being an investor in gold or in stocks and just make an average profit of a few percent a year. That is why I invested in Bitcoin and not in those other two stocks or gold. Guys, bam, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Um, I'm going to do longer videos again when I uh, feel better and my voice allows it. It's just funny to make videos like that. But um, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my new voice <coughs> and the coughing and the goats and this beautiful Sunday. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam! Oh,